Over here in Berkeley at, uh, I guess, uh, Telegraph Avenue, kind of just walking around my old haunts. I can't say, though, honestly, looking at these old haunts here, um, it doesn't seem like it's changed very much in the 30 or so years since I lived here, but I, I can't honestly say that I, uh, you know, have the time of my life that I lived here, it didn't seem to me that it was really a great time in my life. So what, I, what, what comes back to me is, number one, in a couple of years my son might be walking around here. Probably not, but the second is that I'm walking around here thinking that the time of my life this represented was a time when there wasn't any stru much structure for me. And I sort of floated like back 30 years ago. So I'm not sure that necessarily the, the most pleasant associations, but I think this is a beautiful place to go to college, I'll say that. Now instead of seeing Moon Man here, I'm seeing some guy with Tai Chi or something like that. But anyway. You know, you know what's kind of weird is I can walk in New York and find Chipotle Grill, but I also find it here in Berkeley. Well, it's probably everywhere, right? I mean, it's probably like the McDonald's of um, a Mexican food, you know, or maybe worse. I don't know. I used to kind of remember that, uh, what is this street? Is this Durant? Or this is Telegraph and Durant. I used to remember um, this corner here where this truck is, the UPS truck is. I once walked into Elvis Costello's bus here. It was parked right on this corner here. Um, and I used to go to parties sometimes in buildings here. This looks like it'd be a nice place to live, actually. Um, you know, if, if you had a reason to be in Berkeley. I have no idea what it costs to live here now. I think it's weird that there was a Rasputin music 30 years ago here. I'm, I'm almost positive that, that there was. I don't know about some of these other stores. Hey. Well, not today, not thanks. Not today? Not today. Thank you. Where are you from? New York. From New York? Yeah. How long are you here? Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow? Okay. Yeah. Are you, uh, just to let you know, are you familiar with Kimberly Clark? Places like Cody's Book, which yeah. is 30 years ago, I guess they're out of... I don't see the Telegraph Cafe unless I'm forgetting something and passed it. I, I'm assuming that Probably Starbucks and places like that, or the high rents, put that place out of business. So it looks to me like while the streets kind of look almost the same as they did to me. And the last time I was here in Berkeley was maybe, eh, maybe 14 years ago in 19, yeah, probably in 1994. I think I was here for an afternoon like this. I don't think I've been here since. I'm almost positive I haven't been here since. No, here it is, Cafe Mediterranean. I used to hang out here, and uh, I think I used to see people like Phil Kemelor, from, who works for Symphonic. I think we used to run into each other here. Maybe I'll go and give myself up. Uh, Moe's Books is still here. Yeah. I mean, I used to, I might even walk by where I used to live, although I can't say it's worth it, because it's way out in Carlton, Carlton Avenue off of Shattuck. But it's kind of not cool just taking a little time on my trip this time to go here, because I rarely do come to Berkeley, so it's nice just to walk around the old haunts, see what's changed. Actually, this is the Cafe Mediterranean, and I, you know, I used to sit up here and sketch. I wonder if I should just do that now, sit up and sketch. I used to hang out here, have coffee lattes, and, and in fact, I still have this one of my sketchbooks from 30 years ago when I hung upstairs. A lot of times, it, people I knew would, would be here at, at uh, Cafe Mediterranean. Let's see. I mean, this was kind of, I don't think it's changed really sizably much. I mean, it's probably got wireless now. Let's see what else is here. This is pretty cool. I don't know what that's for. Let's see, it's his bathroom here. Okay, well, let's stop now. Shakespeare and Company, I believe, is where I used to, <clears throat> used to bring books that... I had brought a lot of art books and stuff from New York, and when I lived here, sometimes I was kind of broke. And 
I used to bring my used books, like my Cezanne book, which I really regret having given up because I loved it so much, and I'd sell it here, you know, for five dollars or something, and then I would go and buy some Mexican dinner or something, and beer or something like that. That was kind of my life 30 years ago, so kind of empty or whatever, but it, 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 uh, it's kind of interesting that that's, I believe, is still here. It's kind of cool. But in fact, I'm not so sure. I think there's a Shakespeare's books in New York, so I'm not sure if this place really was here 30. I seem to recall it, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, so I think, I think Shakespeare book was probably the place that I can't swear it, that I brought a lot of my books to sell 30 years ago. What I, when I went in, I got the feeling that of this old smelly pages that reminded me of this kind of feeling you have when you look at art books and look at old books and you kind of feel like the world seems to be ordered and everything seems to have a place even though it you know it really isn't that way but when you look at these books it seems as if there's all this stuff there that makes it all fit into place but when you really live life a lot of times it's not. It's not like that. So I realize that what I'm seeing inside an old book bookstore that has a lot of interesting old books is not the real representation representation of kind of life as it is, but more like I don't know, nostalgia. Which is kind of cool because I'm going to go in a cafe Mediterranean right now and have a coffee and draw like I used to draw 30 years ago. I happened on these uh, beautiful flowers that I, on my way over to the train, is head over to the restaurant. I felt like I had to just, when well, sometimes I see something like this, I feel like I just want to stop and even if I don't have time to paint it, I'm not sure how well I'm capturing this. But I feel like, at least I like to picture it, get it this way. These are gorgeous. Ah, this is a stadium here. I think I've had enough of Berkeley for this time. I'm going over to the bus station. Which is, I, as I recall, somewhere right around here. We'll figure it out in a minute. Here over in Shattuck Avenue. I remember um, Shattuck Avenue used to remind me of William Shatner for some reason, but they have no relationship whatsoever. They used to live maybe half a mile up this way and off a couple of streets. Um, again, this doesn't look terribly different from the way it did mm, 30 years ago. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't really make any difference what it looks like. I guess, I guess I thought Cody's books closed, unless I'm mixing it up, but it turns out that uh, it actually moved to a better place and I'm not sure that there were more than one of them but I think downtown I think this is where the train is pretty sure it's here in this circular thing so I'm going off the way back into San Francisco and uh, here's my Berkeley jaunt for a while and I think I've had enough of Berkeley for now <laughs> 